All right. Let's go again. Oh, God. Okay. Isaac 2. Isaac sucker. Okay, I guess we'll try hard. Thunder thighs. Step on every pot and be ready to run out of rooms. <coughs> I move slower. Yes. But pot spawn money and thunder thighs let you walk and break rocks and shit. Now, as long as you do the pot breaking after you've killed everything in the room and the doors are already open, go ahead and stomp on pots. If they spawn spiders, you can literally just walk out of the room and not have to deal with them. So I can step on rocks? Yes, and mushrooms. However, mushrooms have a chance to release poison gas, so uh, be careful with that. Don't let this guy hit you. Is he a commander? Uh, sort of. That's close enough. But he's kind of dark looking. So. Yeah. He's a special mob. <coughs> Go ahead and just break everything with me. I like breaking things with my thighs. I feel like Zangief. I'm at the arcade, chillin' with Lena and I go. Zangief arcade, Zangief ballet. I like Zangief. I don't like how you play this game, but you know, it's first floor so it doesn't matter. You can get hit a couple times here and it's okay. You actually have a decent amount of money. Can't run from these spiders. No, not with how slow you are. My thighs are just too powerful. That's one way to put it. <coughs> okay. Why is it going to the machine or the... Nope, you don't have any keys. You can't. Oh, Nelly. The fuck was that? What? Come on, Nelly. Like spiders no spider are your thing. biggest threat. Did you not watch Earthworm Jim? Nope. Nor did I play Earthworm Jim much. I think I rented it one weekend for SNES. The Sega Genesis one was actually better. Eh, probably. I thought this was the boss room for a second. I'm like, yeah! Just one fly. Ooh, broken teleporter. Every time you use your spacebar item, there's a chance to teleport you. It's pretty nice. You don't have a spacebar item, so, uh. Ooh, mm -hmm. Gemini! This is gonna suck to with, with my speed. Yeah. <coughs> At least I can ignore the rocks. You know, the rocks, which help be barriers to prevent him from chasing you in straight lines and cutting you off. Maybe don't break every rock you see. But no, that wouldn't be our fry. Nope. And hit by the boss. Well, you're not doing terrible, I guess. Alright, now just to kill the little one, who's a little bit faster and a little bit more aggressive. And someday you'll land a hit. Someday. He's just so small and fast. Everything in this game has the same hitbox. Somehow doubt that. It's all true. Even the little spiders have the same hitbox as Monstro. That's not true at all. 100% canon. Check the wiki. <laughs> Just juggling him. Okay, you have an odd blue mushroom. <coughs> Tears up, shot speed down. So they fly a little slower, so you have a little bit less range. But you get more tears per second that you can shoot. Overall, a benefit. All right, let's kick some ass. And you're dead. What? How? What? I don't feel dead. You will. I will feel dead when I'm dead. Okay. I'll take your word for it. Let's not go into the curse room right away. We want to save that spirit heart for now. After you get another one, we can go ahead and waste it frivolously. Pinky eye, poison shot. Um, up to you. Do you like teleporting or do you like poison shots? Not teleporting. All right then. <coughs> oh, oh. Just run over rocks. Yep. Who knows? You might get a crawl space. I'll give you a free item. 
Also, we need to find that item. Right. No crawl space. Keep the hustle. I'm hustling. Every day. Yeah. The red ones will shoot two that will arc around you. He's a champion over there, so... If he hits you, it takes away a full heart of damage. The little ones only take away a half. Still not good. Key! Uh, do you want to save it for your item room, or do you want to take it to the shop? The shop, you could potentially buy another key. Well, I can item room for sure. It's up to you. Okay. We haven't found the item room yet. Um, I would recommend you beat the boss first, and then go get the item room and shit. You know I'm not going to listen to you, right? Yeah, I know, just because I have great advice. <laughs> you have, listen, wait, 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 you have five hearts, okay? Five red hearts. We're only in basement two. I know, but you could, this would get you a devil deal, and then you could trade away some of those red hearts to give you a permanent increase in damage, allowing you to clear the other rooms way faster. This is fine. This is deaf ears, isn't it? This is fine. <laughs> I think you're having more fun infuriating me than you are with the game. I might be. Sigh. It's vengeance for all the Dark Souls I had to put up with. Here it is. Dark Souls you have to put up with. You're making me play it. <laughs> you're making me play this. Well, this is my vengeance. Don't turn my vengeance into your vengeance. <laughs> That's not how this works. It's equal trade. You will trade my ass. I'm starting to enjoy Dark Souls. There you go. There's a nice, terrible space bar item for you. What does it do? Summons beams of light from the sky that fuck up your enemies. That sounds awesome. It actually is. Use it on the boss. Okay. Off Randomly wasted in a random room. No enemies even in the room when you do it. It's happened before. <laughs> oh, it's just monster. Okay. Let's do it. Hey, Moss Drop! You missed him. I missed him. Oh, I can walk on poop. That's important. Yep. Please don't get hit. Believe in the me that. No. Believe in yourself. That's still my favorite of all this stuff. Take your game into outer space. Ah, I got hit. God, well, that's okay. That's only one hit. You still have a half spirit heart. You haven't taken red heart damage. Everything's okay. You're still insured. You say that now. I'm trying to be positive. Look, you're slowly kicking his ass. Slowly. <laughs> Welcome to the Space Olympics. All the oxygen has run out, and someone who shall not be named accidentally hits self-destruct. And did you do it? Did you get? You've got a devil room. Hooray! Go in the devil room. Do not leave this room. What about this item? You can get that in a second. It just drops a shitload of pills. One of which might be a teleport, so don't take them yet. Okay, fine. I will leave them here. Dead cat. It will give you nine lives. You can die nine fucking times. But you'll only get one heart. <gasps> as soon as you go to the next floor, though, you're going to have two. So, no problem. This is progress. So, okay. should I use... Yes, take random pills. One of them might be a health up. Or a health down. Even if it's a health down, it's still a health up for you right now. Because you only have one heart. Awesome. All these hearts... All these are great. That one wasn't. What was that? Alright. Um, wanna go to the shop? I suppose. Oh yeah, you can pick up that battery. We'll recharge your item. Alright. Uh, ooh, blue map will show you where all the secret rooms are. That might give you an edge. And then you can buy another uh, spirit heart to protect you. Yeah, I totally just buy all three items in here, dude. <coughs> Have lots of money. Yep, and you have two. Bo you know what? You know what? We can go get the secret rooms. 
They're just two rooms up from here. Oh, oh. you're right. It shows you a secret room there. Handy. Yep, so... Yep. Put about there. That should be right. Pills! Ah, I did nothing bad. That's full health. Oh well, you don't get to go to the other secret room, but you have a lot of poop to break. Ah, uh, careful to kill the fly. Oh, really? oh my god, pick up the petrified poop before you break any more poops. Okay. Now break every poop. What's I am error? Oh, this is an error room. They're kind of hard to get to with telepills, so I'm really pleased you did it. This is a good way to get a shitload of money, at least. Making back everything that I spent and more. Yep, and there's a spirit heart. See? Sometimes this shit's profitable. One more golden poop. Nice. Shit, son, I think you've almost unlocked Judas. Okay, now it's up to you. You can take the pinky eye, which will occasionally shoot a poison tear, or you can take the petrified poop, so that every poop you step on has a higher chance of dropping an item for you. I think we're running low on poop rooms, though. I think the next floor will be, they, they become less common. Okay, we're keeping the pinky eye. Might as well keep using it. Hey, I'm just trying to strategize with you. Or at the very least, I'm trying to talk strategy in the room is with you. <laughs> yeah, and I... there's the Eternal Heart giving you a freebie. Now, quickly tap tap, because as Northern Lion rule of gaming states, the super secret room, which is the slightly grayed out one up here, um, is the one most likely to be almost next to the boss room. So if you want to make a beeline at the boss, that's the way to go. That's fine. Okay. Well, fuck you. <laughs> that's what's just happened. Ow. Bloody leeches. Holy crap. That was like a ninja. Yep, that's why I like to walk into the walls as he's attacking me. It makes him uh, not attack me. Now be careful because these things can Drop spawn pills. awesome items. Him it, him it, and pop it and see what happens. Now you can pick up the heart you dropped. Um, now, when you step on mushrooms, there's a chance they can explode into a gas cloud that hurts you. Oh. That's the one big risk. This game loves its risks. Yep. Well, it's a fucking random dungeon crawler, dude. It's what they do. I don't often play random dungeon crawlers. I know. Ow. I enjoy them. This reminds me a lot of Dungeons of Dreadmore, but I cheat like hell in Dungeons of Dreadmore. I hate these guys. There you go. You haven't actually taken red heart damage yet, so if we can get you another spirit heart, we're golden. Speaking of golden, gold room. Luck foot. It will give you plus one luck. Okay, that will also increase our chances of finding a crawl space, I believe. Is it crawl space too? Uh, random free item. Possibly a random sneak way to the next floor. Someone who shall not be named accidentally hits self destruct. Why is that still in my head? Ah, just... Oh well. Keep going. I don't have a bomb. That's right. Damn it. Oh, Nelly. Oh, Nelly. It should take three tears to kill. Got hit by two. That one got hit by four and died. I'm roughly right. Three to five shots. That's not bad. Hey, there's a shop. No key though. And that is how you access that. My thighs. Yes, you've unlocked two characters this time. We no longer have to play as only Isaac. Thank fuck. So I have Cain and Lazarus. I. I unabashedly love Kane. Okay? I think Kane is one of the best. Most people will tell you that's stupid and that Lazarus is one of the best. But I don't believe you will ever play Lazarus properly even if I tell you exactly how to do it. 
Because it involves killing yourself. Well, you just last one. Yes. You will probably really enjoy Lazarus, though, that's the thing. He is fun. Alright, looks like we're gonna go right into the boss room. Maybe your crack the sky will work this time. I could sacrifice some health and get a. Oh, use that speed up. And possibly get a bomb. I. It probably won't work. Just from experience. Take your pill. I'll take it in here. Okay, hey, look, it's Peep. I've never played Peep again. Uh. Oh god, he pees everywhere. Yep, he'll also make big pee fields, and he can jump, but as long as he's in between those rocks and you don't break those rocks, he cannot actually jump out of them on you. Unless you do that. Yeah. Why are you luring him out? So I can hit him. Just dance in the middle. Now dance left. Oh yeah, space bar. Just so we're clear, I don't think anybody likes Crack the Sky. It's very similar to certain spells in other games. It'd be nice if it had a better chance of hitting. Instead it just picks sort of random spots in the room to hit. Can I take out this eyeball? No, the eyes, the eyes are invulnerable and they hurt you. And they block your tears too. However, you can nudge them with your tears, which is kind of helpful. His other eye will pop out when he gets closer to a third of his health left. And that's when this boss fight becomes really annoying. He now has the capability to jump on you, remember that. It seems to be working out for me just standing here. <laughs> that's good. The eyes are assholes. Oh, you beat him just in time. You've unlocked the catacombs! You've beaten every enemy on the first two floors so often. Like, you've beaten every version of the boss available. Is this urine gonna hurt me? Uh, no, that stuff's all dried urine. Okay. Wooden spoon for speed up. Yeah, ta. Tab? Uh... I don't have a bomb. You could do a boss room and maybe get a bomb. That might do it. Sacrifice room is too risky for no real chance of payout. I'll just continue. Okay. Not bad, though. You beat Peep. Peep is my biggest enemy. I have the most trouble with Peep out of every boss in the game. And Peep's super variant. The bloat. Oh, jeez. I thought they were the, uh... <coughs> the long-shooting ones for a second. Lasers? Yeah. I'm like, four at once, no. oh, <coughs> Thankfully, you're not quite at brimstone spiders yet. And they'll have bloody mouths. Hell. Is there, what are these giant butts? Yes. Ow. And they will die into leeches. That's super nasty. I'm stuck in a plane. If you can kill them over top of the holes, which is almost impossible, I know, um, the leeches won't spawn. Anyway, this is a mini-boss, and you've pretty much dealt with him. There's another version of him that spawns spiders instead. Still have no goddamn key? That happens. Ow, shit. I might die here. Head won't pop. <coughs> One more. Don't die. Don't curse me like that, man. Can't get that bomb. I know. Damn it. You're dead. I'm Thankfully, dead. you have nine lives. You're back with one heart. Uh, break every rock in the room. Oh, there's rocks in this room. I didn't even notice. Um, I don't remember if you've unlocked the small rock yet. Let's go the other way. Mm. 
Yeah, I definitely like the nine lives. It gave you a lot more chances. Probably the smartest pickup. As long as it cost you all your health. Yeah, you had five. Now you technically have nine. And that'll give me more. Oh, hooray. Bats. That didn't help. That got one of them. Congrats, Crack the Sky. You finally killed an enemy. Ah, damn it. Oh, jeez, man. Bats. I hate bats, man. I am so rich. It is ludicrous. Yep. Also, you have a key now. I do. To the gold room. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da oh, it's a suicide chat. It's a suicide outfit. Put it on. Don't use it. What does it do? You explode. Well, it works a like a bomb. You know what's funny? What? I have nine lives. <laughs> okay, fine. Go suicide open <laughs> one of the fucking rooms then. You've already lost your fucking heart for this room. Who cares? Just kidding. It would work. Like, that's the worst thing. It would work. Use that. Okay, cool. Now you have, like, two hearts. Go bomb open a room, come back, get a heart, then go bomb open the other room. Wanna kill me? Uh, no, actually. You'll have just enough that you'll survive. Ow. Now it'll kill you. <laughs> actually, I don't know if it'll kill you or if it'll only do a half heart. It'll probably kill me. Fuck it. Up two, over one, let's bomb that fucking hole open. Oh, here we go. Kablam. Only half a heart. Ooh. Oh, that's the cursed eye that makes... Yay! Do you remember what this does? Yep. I reviewed our footage. Well. <coughs> I have a thing where I just grab items. You sure do, buddy. You sure do. If you don't like this room, you can leave it really easily. True. We could die. Yep. Hey, I'm dead. Yay. And back to this room. Oh god. I missed my Seven more up. lives. Tax cross. Oh hell. No, those ones are red, which means you can kill them even when they're down. But they should have spread a five instead of three. Could be worse, right? You did great that time. Good job. Well, now that I've learned the tech of the cursed eye. Out of my way, fools. You're gonna make yourself a little safety nest where you have like a, a nook where there's no rocks to interfere with your shots? That's a good idea, he says. Concentration here. Yep. Also, if you die, all the enemies in the room respawn. Yeah, I know. I died a couple times. Wasn't sure if you noticed yet. Congrats, you did it. Huzzah. Next trip. Ooh, a double key room. There's no way you can get in there. Oh, look, you're dead. I'm just gonna die. Five lives. A lot here. What do you know? Get away, spider. Hmm. Quite the bombardment going. Oh, you nicked him. Not bad, man. Trade blow. Can't really afford to do that, friend. Nope. Hey, look, a pill. What's that one do? 
No. Uh, speed down. Let's not. Sweet. One more hit. <laughs> Death by mushroom. Did that respawn the enemies? I don't think so. Not? You're good. Just got it in time. Go to the challenge room. It's a boss challenge room. I'm Let's gonna die what's... horribly. We don't have to open that chest. Walk away. Walk away. It takes a key. Did we go to the item room on this floor? Yeah. Okay, let's see if we can't get another key and try out the double key room. Maybe it's a re-roll room. Why don't we just go down to the secret room? Okay. Let's see if you can survive that trip. Also, I guess there's a shop. And you do have, like, a shitload of money. Oh, look, everything in this room explodes. What's that item? Gives a random mushroom effect to every room you go into, including the compass. So sometimes you'll walk in a room and get a speed boost, sometimes a damage boost, sometimes you'll get a health boost, even. I'll try that shop. You have a shitload of money in one key. True. Hell, it's greed again. Well, this was poor advice on my part. Wow, so that was it. fast bullets. He blocked it with his minion. With his summon. Well, two lives left. This isn't working out for me. Technically three lives. Oh, look, a pill. I know. Oh, I see. A black heart. I see your strategy now. You don't <laughs> have a strategy. I just ran for it. Keep running. What was the other one? Same thing. Oh, God. Get hit again. Run! <laughs> Touch that's fuzzy, get, get dizzy. dizzy. I love that so slogan. That's where your uh, line came from. That's not actually where it came from. Touch fuzzy, get dizzy is a uh, Yoshi's Island reference. Really? But yeah, that is what I use on my 3DS. That's my greeting. Sure, I want. Try the Liberty Cap. You haven't really done anything with Liberty Cap yet. You like Pinky Eye a lot. Variety is the spice of life. Alright, let's try that boss. Alright, let's try that boss. Oh, oh it's yeah. Gertie. That's easy. Just uh, be ready to dodge every time his head disappears. Destroy those two next to you. This is gonna get... Alright, I hope you have fun with that. I'll see you later. <laughs> Bye! Shit. Pretty sure they heard you sit down. <laughs> I'm sure, I want speed down or luck down. Okay, I'm back. <sighs> All right, Gertie two, Gertie harder, Gertie dead. and dead. I'm dead. Oh no, I'm teleported again. This is gonna... This is terrible, man. Yes, this is definitely going to be the end of this run, I think. Oh hey, game my wish list is on sale on Steam. Oh, which one? I'm finding it now. Oh. It doesn't count as a sale when you're so fucking expensive, man. Off-world trading company. Oh. Save humanity, turn a profit, preferably both. Um. I have no interest in the game. Yeah. I, I put it on my wish list because I wanted to watch it and see where it was going. It, it looks like kind of a knockoff sieve. 
Last life. I believe in you, Fry. Wait, no, what's the other thing? Yeah. You want to just press the space bar and end it all forever? Hold on. Gotta do it the right way. Are you gonna suicide bomb on him to hurt him a little bit? Yeah. Like this. Good job. Well, that's our show. Thanks for watching. Yeah, see you later.